Brad Garlinghouse is cutting some huge statements out there, so there's a lot to discuss in this episode. All of your questions have been answered, plus much more. Without further ado, take a seat back and unwind. Let's get started with a Bitcoin transaction worth $76,143. At $2,932, Ethereum is currently up 1.5% over the last day. It has increased by 4.51%. Both USDT and USDC are entering at their respective dollar pegs. With the entire cryptocurrency market capitalization at $2.66 trillion, XRP is only worth 55 cents. By the end of the year, keep in mind that you should have 4 to 5 trillion. You won't even realize it will arrive yet. As long as we maintain 2.5 and Bitcoin remains above 74,000, my next stop will be $3 trillion. Additionally, we should take note of ADA, which is now displaying some life and providing us with some breathing room. It has increased by more than 17% in the last day, reaching 43 cents. The ADA needed to take action. I possess for a long time, it has been dead in the sea. We are still in danger, but it is attempting. The process of getting your NFTs 30% back in XRP each month is taking a long time if you don't have your NFT. You regain more experience points the more you hold. It's as easy as that. Additionally, you will receive a complimentary pack opening for the King of the Jungle trading card. Play the game this was released by Jake Paul. Trump isn't even in office after 48 hours. The second call for Putin to halt the Russian-Ukrainian conflict is for an Iranian ceasefire. Three, to preserve China's prospects of living in peace with the United States, Hamas demanded that the war end immediately. Kamala Harris served as vice president for four years. If you know the answers, please share them with us. Break in 4 billion 460 million worth of Ethereum and Bitcoin options are scheduled to expire tomorrow, the 9th, according to cryptocurrency. High volatility might be in store for us, we should merely be aware of it right now. I truly want to play the clip for you, but I discussed this in the day's first video. This will introduce what we have in store for you, so pay attention. The man who is the director's force then adds, this time. Alright, tell me about the litigation. What do you do now that you have a list of all the ongoing lawsuits? How would you respond to a case brought by the SEC, such as one against Coinbase? That has been vigorously contested, and as the director, you no longer agree that they are operating as an illegal broker-dealer, a legitimate clearing firm, or an illegal exchange that they are not registering. Do you believe that the law is not sufficiently clear? You're the enforcement director, and I no longer wish to bring these cases. Well, there are many choices. The head of litigation can tell. You have a litigation head working for you. When you take over as enforcement director, this individual will likely be the head of litigation. You have a candidate for the position of head of litigation. Perhaps they are a public servant who has been there for a very long time and hasn't left, and you begin to ruin their lives by calling them every day and telling them to do this and that, and they stop doing it. You place them on a strategy to increase their performance. If the head of litigation quits following the enforcement director's instructions, things could go very wrong. Therefore, the enforcement director may meet with the head of litigation and request that they either dismiss all of these cases or attempt to reach a settlement and complete them. I no longer believed in these cases, and at that time, the litigators involved may argue that they disagree, but the enforcement director says, this is what I want you to do. As previously stated, you and I must approach the commission for permission. To do this, you present an action memorandum to the commissioner stating that you wish to dismiss these five cases and settle the remaining ten for this. You then appear before the five commissioners, the new chair, the two Republican appointees, Mark Weta and Hester Plutarco, and the two Democratic ones. Additionally, you speak with their legal assistant. As you may have heard when we discussed this topic, these cases are ending. Gary Gensler is going to step down we will be receiving a new commission. They will be investigating and analyzing all of these cryptocurrency lawsuits and saying, look, that's nonsense. That is absurd. 
That is absurd. Get rid of it. Complete it. Don't use the SECV Ripple case. Simply take the money and go on, we have more important things to do now. We recall that the boy was describing XRP to Donald Trump Jr. I also received XRP-like currencies that are attempting to transform the banking sector. XRP is a cryptocurrency that aims to enable considerably faster international cross-border payments. As a result, both XRP and Bitcoin are referred to as networks of value. The SWIFT system now operates the banking system and facilitates international transfers and cross-border payments. He must enter the SWIFT system from the back end and handle all the work because it's a network of information. Yes, that is what causes the headache if you are juggling time differences and other issues like you would in an international transaction. In actuality, it takes 5 to 7 days for these things to truly settle, which is known as the time lag. That's RP, since it's a valuable network, it settles in 30 seconds. Interesting, huh? Fascinating. Legal professionals meet with President Trump, this is something that will never be forgotten. This was tweeted by Stude Alderani. Despite my inability to speak today, I want to thank both campaigns for a hard-fought race and for forever obtaining Viagra. The democratic process is fine. The genuine Donald Trump, congrats. When we met in San Francisco this summer, you listened to the Ripple story, and you made cryptocurrency a top priority. Let's take immediate action to terminate the regulation through enforcement. We persevered in the last few years and put the U.S. don't forget to release his checklist, Brad Golan Cows, the world's crypto capital. What do you believe is happening here? He desires Gensler's termination. Gensler will not be fired, even though we all want him to. When you're in a position of such high authority, let's just say what needs to be said. To give you the chance to announce your resignation, they don't terminate you. Chad released this. It made a difference. XRP is unrestricted. Now, nothing can stop it. What is Brad referring to in his tweet? He claims that I have expressed some ideas about what the Trump administration would bring to the cryptocurrency space. Wish to acknowledge the XRP family members as well as constant assistance since XRP was the second most valued digital asset, a lot has changed. Since the SEC began interfering in the cryptocurrency market six years ago, selecting winners and losers four years ago, it has occasionally been a painful road. As these outside, blatantly artificial, and manipulative market variables diminish, we are finally seeing the end of the tunnel after the SEC sued Ripple. We who believe in the future of XRP have a huge chance as the tides have changed and headwinds are becoming tailwinds. Brad seems to be experiencing some of the bullish tingle on look. The breakout of XRP is long overdue. Seven years have passed since it last broke an all-time high. Brad is aware of it. Since XRP has turned into a laughingstock, the community is, quite honestly, growing weary of it. Let's simply call it that. The coin has been incredibly steady. There is absolutely no reason why the price of XRP shouldn't rise in this cycle and even make up for that 2020 cycle with a lawsuit thrown on top of its price after the Ripple vs. UC litigation is resolved. No cause. I am completely by the end of this year, 75 cents must be broken, and anticipating a breakout on XRP in the upcoming weeks is only the start of the fun. Which would indicate to us that next year we'll see a new all-time high. I can't wait to put this to use. The more difficult Bitcoin gets, the more dominant at what you're consuming we discussed Bitcoin's supremacy and its significance after it became so prevalent. First up will be Bitcoin. If you have been in these markets during any bull run or bull cycle, you are aware of it. I'll tell you how this works if you don't already know. Many of these tokens will lose all of their money and liquidity as a result of Bitcoin. It will become more dominant. If we witness, perhaps, a 60% or even greater dominance on Bitcoin, I wouldn't be shocked. The only chart you should be paying attention to right now is the one where the Bitcoin dominance begins to decline since that is what you should watch for when it does. Alternate currencies will begin to move once Bitcoin's dominance begins to decline. Yes, there will be movement this year. 
but the movement we're looking for is the alt starting to perform a 5, 10, 15 to 20x at this very moment. Yes, it's amazing, too, you know. Cardano is up 17%. You are aware that Solano was ripping over 200. XRP is up about 6%, I mean. The movement isn't that. Here, we're discussing the parabolic gains and a parabolic trend that occurs when Bitcoin's dominance peaks and then declines. The upcoming year will be exciting for those of us who own cryptocurrency. No matter what you own, all currencies will increase in value. 